The women in Africa are quickly redefining and breaking social barriers, in which women were not expected to work and earn money for themselves. African women have continued to share the stage with men in various aspects of business, technology, the media, science, and politics. They have continuously built successful businesses and left outstanding legacies. It is in this episode that we will take a look at some of the richest African women who have shown that there are no limitations for a woman to become a millionaire in Africa. 10. Bridget Rade Bay, South Africa In an industry such as mining where a good number of mining firms are owned by men, Bridget Rade Bay has proven that she is more than capable by making millions in the mining industry. She has since then tried to improve the mining industry in South Africa, condemning some of the government's decisions to capitalize on the industry. In May 2008, she received an award from the Global Foundation of Democracy. The award recognizes business people who have made a change in business by improving the political landscapes. She is the president of the South African Mining Development Association and is married to Jeff Raid. She began her career as a miner and later on started her own mining company called Mmaku Mining. The 62-year-old specializes in the analysis of gold, uranium, coal, platinum, and chrome. She is worth 58.7 million US dollars today. 9. Charlize Theron, South Africa Charlize Theron is a South African-slash-American actress. She is one of the world's highest paid actresses in Hollywood. She has received quite a handful of awards from the Academy, also known as the Oscars, the Golden Globe, and the Hall of Fame. She has a net worth of 170 million US dollars. Having played leading roles in blockbuster movies such as Mad Max, Snow White, and The Huntsman, Fast and Furious, and many others, this 46 year old has been ranked as one of Africa's richest leading women. 8. Wendy Appelbaum, South Africa Wendy Appelbaum is one of Africa's richest women, and she ranks as one of the most financially empowered women in Africa. She has been celebrated in her home country, South Africa, as one of the leading philanthropists and entrepreneurs in the country, and she is widely admired for her leadership skills in the business domain and her selflessness towards those in need. Growing up as an only daughter amongst two brothers, she enjoyed games like tennis, scrabble, golf, and show jumping. She admitted to Forbes in an interview that all those games helped her to master the art of negotiation in business. Wendy began her career in her father's company, and thereafter became one of the company's largest individual shareholders. Today, she is the chairperson of De Morgens & Wine Estate, an agricultural business in Stellenbosch, a trustee in an investment holding called the Tribune Trust South Africa, a director at an empowerment company, and she is worth 2.6 billion rand. She is married to Hilton Appelbaum, and they have two sons. One is a surgeon while the other is a banker. 7. Kate Canny Tondi Faso, Cameroon Popularly known in her country as the Iron Lady, billionaire Kate Kani Tongi Fatso is the richest woman in Cameroon, as this hardworking entrepreneur is worth about $252 million. She is the director general of Telker Coco, a company which supplies about 30% of all cocoa exports in Cameroon. She has been in the cocoa field for more than 20 years, now competing with the men in this same line of business. Forbes Business Magazine identified her as the richest woman in the Francophone sub-Saharan Africa. Despite the recent conflict, which broke out in the country's English-speaking regions, where 80% of Telker Coco is being purchased, this business mogul hasn't lost her spot as the richest woman in Cameroon today. 8. Who is your favorite so far? Let us know with a comment. Six, Patricia Pokudiabi, Ghana. This West African beauty is currently the richest woman in Ghana with a net worth of $720 million. She is the chief executive officer of Plot Enterprise in Ghana, a cocoa processing company which operates not only in Ghana but within Africa and Asia. She began with this passion by working in her family's business of trading and transportation. 
In 2015, she was listed as the eighth richest Ghanaian amongst 80 Ghanaian businessmen and women by the Ghana Wealth Report. Not only is she recognized for her wealth, but also for excellent business growth. Over the years, she has succeeded to build a business fortress, which has today become one of the biggest conglomerates in Ghana. In one of her interviews, she quoted that the best revenge is massive success. Her company has the biggest factory processing cocoa in the western part of Ghana. You know what they say, what a man can do, a woman can do even better. 5. Daisy Danjuma, Nigeria Daisy Danjuma is the third richest woman in Nigeria, an attorney, and was once a senator. Mrs. Danjuma was called to the Nigerian bar in 1977 as a practicing lawyer. She has had quite a successful legal career where she has held top-ranking positions in both private and public companies. She is married to the founder of the oil exploration company Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma, and they have a child together. As a senator, she was equally given the opportunity to serve as chairman of the Women and Child Rights Committee of the Economic Community of West African States. Not only does she make her wealth from politics and being a lawyer, but she also works in the oil and gas industry. This millionaire was born in the city of Benin, Nigeria, and is worth $900 million. 4. Hajiabola Shagya, Nigeria Born on the 10th of October 1959, Hajiabola Shagya hails from Nigeria in the Muslim community. Her first job was at the Central Bank of Nigeria, where she worked as an auditor. She studied economics and accountancy at Armstrong College in California. Now married and a mother of six, Mrs. Bola managed to skillfully build her network from scratch. She is also a fashion enthusiast as she has always been known to support the fashion industry in Nigeria over the years. The former president of Nigeria, Goodluck Jonathan, awarded her the title of member of the Order of Niger in 2010. She is currently the CEO of Balmas Group International, a company which deals in real estate, banking, photography, and oil. She is equally the founder of Voyage Oil. She has a net worth of 950 million US dollars. Her success has made her earn multiple awards from the Nigerian government, and she has been termed by Forbes magazine as the fourth richest woman in Africa. 3. Gina Kenyatta Kenya. Former First Lady of the late President of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, Gina Kenyatta's origin can be traced down to her Ugandan ancestry. She is an entrepreneur and a philanthropist, and the owner of Gina Investments in Kenya. They are involved in manufacturing, construction, marketing, and distribution. She also owns 24.9% of shares in one of the biggest banks in Kenya, the Commercial Bank of Africa. She is a Catholic Christian and is famous in her country for helping less privileged children. She has four children of her own. In the past, rumors have been made that she and her family were involved in the business of money laundering and smuggling of ivory to China. These claims were never proven, however, Pandora's paper revealed that she had been masking herself to donate billions to a charity account in order to avoid paying taxes in the country. This 89-year-old has a good number of properties, and the Kenyan media has nicknamed her the Grandmother of Africa. One of her foundations, which is the Genda Development Fund, focuses on alleviating poverty through health care and community empowerment. Today, she is worth a billion US dollars. 2. Falarancho Lekaja, Nigeria it is no secret that Nigeria is rapidly taking up the spotlight as the African country with the highest number of entrepreneurs. Born in Lagos State, Fala Runcho is known to be the second richest woman in Africa today. She has a net worth of 1.3 billion US dollars. She is the CEO of Billy's Group and has a strong reputation for growing the real estate empire in Europe, the US, Asia, and Australia. Born on the 15th of July 1951, Fala Runcho grew up in an upper-middle-class Nigerian family. She finished her secretarial studies at Pittman's Central College in the United Kingdom. She is married to Maju Balakaja, a lawyer residing in Nigeria. 
They have been blessed with four sons and grandchildren who all reside in Nigeria, as well as her nephew, the infamous DJ Exclusive. In 2017, her son Folarin Alakaja married an Iranian model called Nazanin Jafarian at Blenheim Palace in England. The media was in a frenzy as they reported that it was one of the most expensive weddings in the world. She has been known by many as a business magnate, an executive vice chairwoman of Fanfa Oil Limited, and the managing director of Rose of Sharing Group. She is currently 71 years old and still topping the charts in the business world in Nigeria. Fala Runsho Alakaja has received an honorary doctorate degree from Benson Idahosa University, Nigeria, for her contribution to the business world. 1. Isabel Dos Santos, Angola. Born in Luanda, Angola, Isabel Dos Santos is one of Africa's most famous entrepreneurs. She is equally the oldest daughter of the former president of Angola, Jose Eduardo Dos Santos. The 48-year-old business tycoon owns several business firms in Angola and Portugal. She is the first African woman to reach the billionaire status, and she started out as a project manager where she worked with her father to disinfect the city of Luanda. For her first business, she established a Miami Beach Club in 1997. However, on the 30th of December 2019, the Angolan Provincial Court ordered the freezing of some of her accounts and the seizure of some of her stakes in companies in the country. By 2021, she was banned from going into the U.S. for significant corruption. In the Forbes Business Magazine in 2013, it was said that Dos Santos had acquired all of her wealth throughout the years, from her family's power and connections. In her youth, she studied electrical engineering at King's College in London, where she met her husband, Syndica de Kahlo, the son of a millionaire from Kinshasa. Today, this stunningly rich woman is worth about 2.2 billion US dollars and she owns 25% of a private Angolan mobile company. That's it for our top 10 richest women in Africa today. We hope these women will be a source of inspiration to many young girls and women across Africa who dream of becoming just as successful. Is there a name you think we missed out on which should have been included in the list? Let us know in the comments section. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.